DJ's Brew Tube Beer Review. Actually, it's a loco beer review. Why is it local today, UBT? Oh, we are arr, pirates drinking uh, Heavy Seas Pirate today. Yes, well, I have to tell the notes, or can you read the notes through your eye hole? <laughs> no, I, I have my glass eye right here. You have your glass eye? Okay, because usually I open the, the bottle for the stunt drinker, but I don't, can you? Yeah, How no. many fingers? Nope. Okay. Uh, hang on. Yeah, two. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got a beer from Heavy Seas out of Baltimore, Maryland, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. What beer is it? Do you remember? Yuletide. No, it's Yuletide. Arr. Arr. 2015. And this is a very good pirate beer. Why? Because it's a Weizen Doppelbach that was brewed once, well, kind of once this year anyway. Um, and it clocks in at 9% ABV and 28 IBUs, but it's very piratey because it's been rum barrel aged in Jamaican rum barrels. Can mm. you read what the malts are through your eye hole? Yeah, no. Oh, uh, malt, two row wheat. Uh huh. Yeah, nope. Munich. Yep. <laughs> And it's something with a C. Carol wheat. Yeah. Dark crystal. Dark crystal. And chocolate. chocolate. Yes. And what hops? Styrian. Oh, Where's uh, Mary? Fuck. Styrian and Tetnang hops. Te yeah, I can't read that. And the adjunct in this is gingerbread. Oh, yeah. So. I can read the IBUs. It's 28. Yes. And the ABV is 9%. That's true. Did you earn a nose hole? Yes, yeah, you earned a nose, a nose hole. hole. Yeah, it's not so, going to smell baggy today. Let's see what it looks like first. It is. Oh. oh. Fairly clear, kind of garnet colored with a solid one finger of mm, khaki, off-white bubbles version on brown, you swirl it. Mm. Tons of alcohol legs, plenty of glass lacing. Mm. You can even smell it through the bag. Hey, let's oh, see. Oh, it smells delicious. It is not bad. Tell them about the aroma. Arr. I'm going to tell you, I get a sweet, malty smell right up front. Mm-hmm. A dark Jamaican mm. rum. Yeah, you definitely caramel. get rum. Caramel, yeah. Well, I get caramel. He Toffee. gets caramel. Like gingerbready. I no, guess. No, I'm not getting the gingerbread. I get a little gingerbread, like not gingerbread, like breadiness. Yeah, malty. That's mm -hmm. what, that was my malt flavor. Yeah. There's ginger in there, but it's light, and some like banana and clove too from the yeast. Definitely banana and clove. It smells fucking good to me. It smells delicious. I, I oh wait, we gotta fucking stop saying, saying fuck so many times. Yeah, do times. not say fuck. What the fuck? fuck. Cheers. Jesus. No. Cheers. Arr, grog. Mm. Mm. Damn. It's not burning my throat like most of the barrel aged beers from Heavy Seas do. Mm -mm. If you've had greater pumpkin, actually great Arr, pumpkin, Arr. you'll know you get warming in the chest with this, but that beer is boozy in the mouth. This and the 20-year storm that we both had at this point right. have been, I'm surprised. Usually, mm, it's burning. But anyway, up front, let's see what we get. It's a big malt bomb. Very Doppelbach-ish. Very. It's got a nice mouthfeel to it. I'd say like a medium mouthfeel. Caramel, toffee. A little bit of spiciness. I can't tell if it, that is ginger spiciness. It tastes more like yeast-driven clove spice to me and banana. And then I get... It's almost like bananas foster, like with the rum taste. I agree. Yeah, I, I'm not getting gingerbread on this at all, mm -mm. and it, uh, I really, really enjoy this. It's, it's easy to drink. Very this, nice. this could crush you because it's not real. The only thing you get is like I get warmth in the chest. I get the alcohol drink. right up front, and then it goes away, and it's it's really good. What alcohol is it? Is it alcohol from the rum barrel, or alcohol booziness? No, it's. Uh, I'm gonna say it's the rum barrel. You you get it like right up front like, from mm -hmm. that rum, and then it just gone. And then yeah, like you get the warm chest, and but yeah, you it's get got a really clean finish. Since it's this. a lager, and I get a little vanilla in there too as I drink more of it. Hmm. You know, I should drink more just to make sure you yeah, do get that vanilla too. Yeah, you don't want to don't want to miss that. No, yeah, that would be bad. Mm, very bad. I wonder if there's now it's like all heavy seas beers, even though it's a wheat driven beer. It's really clean. I'm very impressed by this. The original Yule Tide was a triple that I think two or three years ago I reviewed and that was super sweet this isn't that mm -hmm. it's balanced it drinks easy um, it lets you know it's a winter warmer type beer because you get some like fire down below and you like the chest <clears throat> excuse oh. me but fire down below that's what she said too yeah it? anyways hmm I'm liking this I'm, I'm about I don't think you want her to have fire down below though no because then like that's like gross <laughs> or bready you don't want bready down there either Breadiness in the beer is okay, Bre but in yeah. the booty, maybe no, not. Yeah, down below, bready is... The pirates bad. are supposed to like the booty. <laughs> okay, we're digressing into piratehood now. We have to grade this. Let's see. Rape beer gives it a... 92. Okay, so like A-. minus. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good beer one. Beer advocate gives it no grade. 
Beer Advocate blows balls. Okay, and mm -hmm. then we've got U Un UTI, untapped. right? Untapped. Oh, UT. It, oh it's not UTI. Sorry, mm -mm. right, my bad. <laughs> Three, Let's make your eye hole bigger. 3.66 caps out of 5, so that's not bad. You know, it's like A minus level 2, probably. Yeah. High B plus. Yeah, that's a high. Yeah. Are we doing, wait, are we doing public school or Catholic school grading? No, usually we do like 100 point scale. 90 yeah, 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 but 90 to 100 in public school is an A. Yeah, but, but 90 is an A minus, so it's like Catholic yeah, school. Yeah, so Catholic school, all right. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. You want me to grade it first? No, 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 no. You always grade last because oh. it's your show. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to tell Johnny you. doesn't let me grade, though. Honestly, I'm going to tell you, this is a good beer. I would buy this beer. I'm actually going to go buy this beer. So I'm going to give it, a, it's a double box, right? D doppel Weizen box. It says doppel box is what it is. Okay, great, because that's what I'm going to buy. That's what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Like the Troganator. That, you know what? I would give this pretty close to the Troganator. Mm -hmm. um, it's that kind of thing. I'm going to give it a 95. Damn. I really enjoy it. A. A. A solid mid-grade A. Busting out the A. Yeah. Very mm. good, guys. Well, I think it's pretty much as advertised on the bottle. I don't get as much gingerbread as I thought. It's got a lot of nice layers of flavor. The rum barrel shines through a lot, a lot of times. You brown, brown bagging it today? <laughs> a lot of times rum barrel doesn't shine through when they have a beer. This does a good job. I think I'm going to go... Almost as high as you. I'm gonna go 94. I think. I think it's really well made. Sweet. It's good beer. I, price right, you bitch. I drink it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, price is right. I went one higher. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, if it's not the stunt drinker, <sighs> it's the unknown beer taster. That's what UBT is, by the way. Everybody knows that. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh. We, we say it all the time. Oh, we do. <clears throat> okay. Anyways, so um, A minus, high A minus, and just in the A scale. Um, I think this would probably sell her well, too. Yeah, I agree. I can taste that. I'm going to get some. Also, one of the things going into my grade is I, I paid $4.99 for this beer. And on, on sale, I don't know why it was on the sale rack, but it was, so I scoffed it up. And an extra one for the uh, dungeon here, so we'll see what it tastes like next year. I'm going to be honest. At $4.99, I'm giving it 100%. 100%. <laughs> It usually costs like $9.99, which is still pretty freaking cheap. That's half off, though. Exactly. So, have you had this beer? If you have, let me know what you think. And UBT know what you think, because he wants to drink more. I like the quid pro quo. And, mate, do you like the back and forth? Or the quid pro quo? I pro? love the pro pro quo -wo. and the back and forth. <laughs> he likes both ways. He's right. easy. Easy going. <laughs> easy. H-E-T-R, baby. So, till the next DJ Brewtube, you have to remember to think globally, drink locally. That's right. Support the craft beer movement. Like, we are here because we've been drinking Heavy Seas beer for how many years? A long time. Like, 18? Hey, when it was Clipper City. When it was Clipper City. We've been drinking this, this brand of beer 18 years. That's nuts to think that craft beer's been around that long. So, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and smash that like button. So, to the next DJ for two. We got nothing but a bunch of Yuletide 2015 rum barrel aged. Wise and Doppelbach drinking love for you. You knew what's coming. That's right. A big. Peace out.